Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dion. For those who have not been here before, thank you for visiting me. For those of you who have been here, you know I'm full troll. <laughs> TCTN, the crazy troll nation of YouTube. The crazy just because I am sometime and the troll because I know I'm not a real troll, but that's just my way of saying accept your natural features, love yourself, love your face, love how your skin looks. And not care so much about what the beauty industry says that we should look like. Or, you know, don't have under eye discoloration. You know, don't have marks on your face. Don't have, you know, your brows undone. You know what I mean? So that's just my way of making fun of that part of the industry. Where everything needs to be perfect or needs to be flawless. I'm just saying, accept who you are. So my saying troll is just like, you can call me a troll. I don't care because <laughs> I love myself. My so-called imperfections are what makes me perfect. And so self-love, self-acceptance, and that's what it's about. That's what my channel is about. As much as I do like to play in face paint. And so, <laughs> but also I will do videos with no face paint. So... You know, I am who I am. This video is about what the no buy I am on is helping me to do um, mentally. And I think I started in March and I said I was going to do it for six months. And so it'll be over in September. I did have plea, plea pre-planned purchases for the Sephora sale in April and I was very strategic in what I was going to purchase and I only purchased things excuse me that I know I love that I know I use on a regular basis or something I was running out of and so my no buy is only buying essentials or buying something I am running out of that I use on a daily basis and it has carried over into food because sometimes I crave Chinese food and I'm like, okay, that would be like $15. So I'm just going to fix something that I have. I have enough food in my cabinets and in my freezer. Like I do not need to be dining out. However, if it is something with a friend and they're like, oh, let's just go, you know, catch up, you know, and go to dinner or something like that. Yeah. But again, that's something that's planned. So no spur of the moment things. And that's the main thing that the no buy was about was delaying my gratification you see something oh that's pretty this new release is dropping i'm going to order during the pre-launch just slow down just slow your roll honey <laughs> it's okay to not have the next new thing as soon as it launches it's okay and i do understand that for those of you who youtube is your job it does benefit you financially because you're monetized to be, you know, among the first reviewing new products because your videos will get a lot of views because people are like, is this any good? You know, should I buy this? How does it look on my skin tone? Is this going to work for my skin type? And so I do understand the concept. For someone like me, just who likes to just play in face paint, it is not that serious for me to buy every new thing that come out that looks shiny. I do really think I want the Natasha Denona Cir Circle Local Palette. And I told myself, I'm going to wait <laughs> until this, the fall Sephora sale. Because I am a VIB or Rogue or Rouge, however you pronounce it. And so I do get 20% off. And so I told myself, I'm going to wait until then. My no buy is over in September. That sale is usually in October, November. And also, it gives me time to continue looking at videos and different looks and people with my skin tone, what they're doing with it. And I'm initially, I was like, I want this palette. And then I'm like, <sighs> I'm not so sure sometimes because I don't prefer me in cool tones. And it seems like half the palette does have those cool pastel-y colors that I don't prefer on me. I think the looks I've seen look beautiful, but then I'm trying to put my skin tone in my face with what I'm seeing in the video, and I'm like, I don't know. And so that's what delaying gratification does. It makes me slow down and really think, is this a product or an item I am going to enjoy using? And if I'm gonna use it on a regular basis, because that's a $129 palette. 
And even if I get it on sale, it'll be, I think, like 103 or 106 dollars, but it's still a lot. And I can save up, you know, points and things like that, but still, like, that's a lot of money. And so it's not something to sneeze at, to just run out and just order a bunch of stuff. I see videos and people are like, oh, I bought all three shades of this blush and I don't remember what they cost. And I'm like, what? And in other videos, or if you look up the product, it might be like $35 or $40. And like they bought all three. So they spent over $100 and they don't even know what they spent. I'm just like, it must be nice to have that type of disposable income. <laughs> And I do know that YouTube will pay for itself if this really is your job. And so again, I understand that. But for regular people like me, if you're like me, you do not need to do that. And so that's the main thing it's doing for me, the no buy, is just delaying my gratification. And I'm really thinking more about why do I want to purchase whatever it is. Um, right now, I do have a $20 e-gift card for... Ulta because they had the thing again where if you purchase a hundred dollar gift card you get a twenty dollar e-gift card and so I'm like okay that's a good deal and that was a pre-planned purchase as well um, because it is a benefit to, I mean you're spending a hundred bucks and you get you know an extra twenty bucks so I'm still just like struggling on what to purchase it expires May 29th and I think today is the 26th and I'm just like what am I going to buy with this $20 e-gift card? I have everything that I need, I have everything that I use and I don't just want to purchase something on a whim just to be like oh well I'll just get this and try it and then if I don't like it that's $20 I could have spent on something or on a brand that I know I do like. Also right now I have $45 cash rewards at Sephora. And I wish they didn't expire in three months. One expires mid-July and one expires, I think, in mid-August. And so even now, I'm just like, what am I going to get, you know, for the $45 cash rewards? I don't want to purchase the Cir Circle <laughs> Local Palette because then what if I don't like it? Or what if it doesn't work? Or what if some of the shadows has too much carmine in it which I do have a reaction to depending on the, the amount of carmine in a particular shadow and so if it doesn't work for me and I send it back I'm not getting that $129 back because I didn't pay $129 technically because it's minus the $45 rewards but that $45 rewards is still cash rewards and so then, even if I return it and I get back like 80 something dollars, I'm like, that's $45 I could have spent for something else. You know what I mean? So it's really making me think about where my money is going and how to get the most out of my money. And, and I hope that this is making sense. Because even if you return something and you use points or rewards, you've used those points and rewards and you don't get that back. So save those for purchases that you know you love and that you know that you're going to enjoy. Um, this morning I was thinking to get a backup of a Peter Thomas Roth skincare item or a Dr. Dennis Gross skincare item because their stuff is expensive. I use them every day. Actually, twice a day because I do my skincare when I wake up and then I do my skincare before I go to sleep. And so that to me would be a wise purchase to get something. There's the, and when I say expensive, I mean like the vitamin C serum from Peter is 98 bucks. And it takes me a few months to get through one because I use it twice a day. So that would be a good purchase because then that would be almost half off of that item. And so think about why you want an item think about how much use you're going to get out of that item think about is it really worth you getting it even if you're using points or rewards and so that's what's been on my mind lately is i don't want to waste my 45 dollar rewards on something i might not like and also with natasha denona Right now on her website for Memorial Day weekend, she has a sale where the Leela palette is 80 bucks. That's a $129 palette and it's on sale for 80 bucks. And so now I'm thinking, okay, Circle Loco, I have to say it's slow because 
it's, it's a hard word for me to say. <laughs> um, it's a limited edition palette. And so I was thinking yesterday, I know I did a lot of thinking yesterday, didn't I? I was thinking yesterday, eventually that's going to go on sale. <laughs> and I say that because the Lila palette is on sale for $80. Her eyeshadow 10 palette, I purchased that for $45. That's a $95 palette. And to this day, today is May 26th, it is still on sale for $45. The Safari palette, I had no intention on getting it because the reviews were so mixed. I saw it on her website last summer for half off. That's a $129 palette. It was half off. I think I paid like $64.50 for it or something like that. And I'm just like, what? And so I'm thinking the Circle Loco palette may end up half off. And so delaying my gratification, even though initially I was like, I want that palette. It's beautiful. The colors is bold. But the longer I wait, the more I'm thinking like, hmm, if this video has been helpful to you, let me know. If you're doing a no buy, let me know. Even though I started in March, it is now May. If you want to join me until September, please let me know. If there was a glitch, I'm sorry because something just looked a little funky with the recording. Just be wise with your money. Delay your gratification. If you're not a professional in the beauty industry, or if you're not a YouTuber that's monetized, if you're not Instagram famous or whatever, you do not need to go out and buy everything that comes out. And when a new brand comes out, if they come out with five blushes, you don't need to buy all five blushes. Just buy the one shade that you think that you will like that will look good on your skin tone. So just slow yourself down, think about things. And if a no buy sounds intimidating, do a low buy. Put yourself on a budget and say for the next three months, I'm not gonna spend more than X amount of dollars on makeup. So you can do that as well. And so that is it for this video. Let me know what you think and you will see me in the next one.